Continue to honor the greatest generation, the 16 million Americans who served in World War II. Only around 167,000 are still alive today. Well, in the National World War II Museum, dedicated to the men and women who fought and won the great conflict, estimates only 7,200 are still alive in the Carolinas. Fox Carolina's Arthur Mondale continues our coverage of South Carolina stories from the battlefield. America had moved away from an isolationist attitude, and they were the men and women who secured our democracy for generations that followed. I want you to meet Army Private Foster Owen Gooding, a former soldier who rarely talks about war. In fact, his own children didn't hear much about his triumphs and sacrifices until now. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. The economic and political instability of World War II was etched early in the mind of a teenage foster, Owen Gooding. We have the responsibility of maintaining the moral resolve and military strength to protect ourselves and those others. And he was familiar with the bombardment of headlines. I was delivering newspapers from Miami to Key West. In 1944, he was approximately 4,700 miles away from the Ardennes Forest region, one of the sites of the Battle of the Bulge. But the 18-year-old says he already knew the stories. I was seeing uh, what was going on in the newspaper every day. He also wasn't surprised that he'd be drafted and soon boarded a ship for northern France. We were replacements going into the war because the war was still going. And at the Battle of the Bulge. The now Army Private Gooding was a motor transport operator who navigated troops in combat. I didn't know what to think. You're in, in the service, you're, go, you're just go, go, you're told what to do. You don't think. Private Gooding not only transported personnel, he also delivered supplies to the war fight. A lot happier driving a truck than I was out there in, in, in the uh, and feel with the rifle in my hands. By the time Private Foster arrived to Europe, Allied forces had taken a stronghold on the German-controlled Western Europe, but the war wasn't over. We were going to go to Japan because they were still fighting in Japan at that time. But instead, he was sent to Butenheim, Germany, where he ran into a familiar ally. He was Army. His older brother, Earl. And Gooding says three of his brothers served during World War II. Part of life. Part of life. Part of life. Uh, you have to go, uh, you have to fight for your country. He was in Europe for almost a year before being transferred to work at the Pentagon as a staff driver, responsible for driving families of the fallen to Arlington National Cemetery. One of the country's oldest cemeteries and the final resting place for many of World War II's fallen. You feel for the people that their loved ones were killed overseas, they didn't have a chance to finish their life out. That experience sticks with Private Gooding just as much as his time in the fight. Whenever you go into the service, you leave everything behind over here and you in the war, you you go in into into a different, altogether different area. And you know whether you're coming back home or not. He also reflects on the prisoners of war and the still missing in action. They still are some missing that's still over there somewhere that they haven't found. These are the layered stories even as children say they never learned until now. It's really been fascinating to hear all his stories and to learn now about everything that he did back then. Because if we hadn't have won that war back then, who knows where we would be today. Her father says while he's proud of his service, having gone through war, he considers peace a precious rarity. That's, that's it. That's the way it is now. That's the way it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that way. It should be that every country should be getting along uh, to, together. They shouldn't be uh, one trying to outdo the other one. Now, the Defense POW and Missing in Action Accounting Agency estimates over 2,000 veterans from the Carolinas who served in World War II are still unaccounted for. The agency says the heroes are not forgotten and they're committed to the difficult task of locating, recovering, and identifying the service members who defended the Constitution. To learn more, just visit our website. Arthur Mondale, Fox Carolina News.